It's hard to relate the driving experience of the F5 to anything else. But the power never seems to give up. It just seems to want to keep giving, giving, giving. Um, you keep asking. It's, it's kind of addictive. You don't want to have to stand on the brakes, but it'll still stop real well, thank goodness. My name is David Donahue, and I raced for 20 years. I won Le Mans 98 in the Viper, won the Rolex 24 in 09 overall, and then in 2013 in class. I'm just here at Hennessy, working on the car's development, as well as introducing the car to different customers. For me, it's, it's ruining a lot of other cars. It's a very satisfying car. It's a compliment that it ruins other cars because it makes me not even want to pay attention to some others. So the, the power, of course, is the most satisfying thing of all. But, uh, but the rest of the package is really impressive. It's a lightweight car, incredible, incredibly good visibility around the outside, and, and you can tell what the attitude of the car is. You can see the fenders. It inspires confidence. Just the feedback through the driver controls, through whether it's your rear end or the steering wheel or, or the brake pedal or anything, it's, um, it's very visceral and uh, it tells you all the right things. We get used to exotic high, high RPM, you know, 12 cylinders or whatever it might be. And, and this is really American muscle at its best. And I think it really, uh, uh, I don't know, it's satisfying because the sound inside the car is different from outside. And it's, and it's just, uh, uh, I don't know how you say, power with confidence, right? It doesn't feel like it's struggling at all. It just is giving, 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 and it just wants to go more. Really getting to know the team, uh, getting to know the process and uh, understand what they do on their test track. and. Uh, working with John Heinrich, who's a, a seasoned test driver uh, and engineer. So it's a small team. They work really well together. The development's nice to know that they've got cars delivered, but they're, they're not resting on their laurels. They're improving on the, uh, the existing product. Again, I keep going back to the word satisfying because <laughs> it just kind of ruins other cars when you, when you think of cars with big power. Um, you, f you get that kick in the rear end or kick in the back and eventually it goes away, but it doesn't in this car. It just keeps going. Um, what else can you say? You run out of road. <laughs>